Hey guys, and welcome back to All Things Past and Paranormal. In today's video, we are going to take a look at five species of ape that inhabited Europe around 13 to 9 million years ago, during the mid to late Miocene period, and discuss their connection with humans and the living African apes, which include chimpanzees and gorillas. Now before I give a brief overview of the five species, I'd like to provide a quick recap and rundown of events that will help give some foundation to the topic of discussion. Around 20 million years ago, the first true apes evolved in East Africa. Then 3 million years later, lowering sea levels would allow these apes to disperse into Asia and give rise to the Gibbon lineage. The same dispersal also took these primates into Europe, where they would survive until around 11 to 12 million years ago in the form of Pliobates, a distant relative of the Gibbons. Then around 14 million years ago, another dispersal out of Africa took place. This dispersal would mark the divergence of the orangutan lineage from the ancestors of the African apes and humans. With the ancestors of orangutans migrating into Asia and the ancestors of the African apes migrating into Europe, with the descendants eventually migrating back into Africa around 8 to 9 million years ago due to a cooling climate. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the topic at hand. The first on our list is Dryopithecus. Discovered in 1856 by French anthropologist Edouard Latte, this ape lived in what is now Spain roughly 13 to 12 million years ago. Though not a direct ancestor to African apes, it was closely related to the lineage that would give rise to them. It possessed a mosaic of physical features that link it with both orangutans and African apes, as seen on this chart. Its locomotion style was akin to that of an orangutan or chimpanzee, engaging in suspensory movements in trees and walked on its knuckles when on the ground, and was primarily a frugivore. Around the same time and place lived Pierolopithecus. This ape, like the Dryopithecus, was a frugivore, and lived a largely arboreal lifestyle. Its cranial features show remarkable similarities to a gorilla's, as evidenced by the longer snout and robust cheekbones, and has been suggested by some scientists as a possible candidate for the common ancestor of the African apes. The next, and one of the more fascinating species in my opinion, is Danuvius guggenmosi. This chimp-like ape inhabited southern Germany 11.6 million years ago. What makes this hominid fascinating is that it constitutes as the possible earliest example of hominid bipedalism in the fossil record. If true, this would have major implications for our evolution, as the earliest confirmed evidence of hominid bipedalism comes from Artipithecus, a hominid that lived 4 to 5 million years ago in what is now East Africa. If Danuvius is indeed bipedal, then it breaks the record for the earliest known bipedal hominid by an astonishing 7 million years. Another possible early biped is Rudipithecus. This hominid lived in what is now Hungary around 10 million years ago and is the first ape to possess a brain comparable in size to modern African apes and is known from a skull and partial pelvis. Now lastly on our list is Hispanopithecus. Like the first two on our list, this hominid originated in Spain. It lived roughly 9 to 10 million years ago, and it moved about in a similar manner to chimpanzees and gorillas. And another revealing find came when examining its sinus cavities, which were found to be of a similar size and shape to the two African apes. So when looking at these species and the findings surrounding them, what kind of implications are we to expect regarding our evolution in this period of time? In a paper done by the PNAS, or the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they did a study which took the average generation times of wild gorilla and chimpanzee populations and applied estimates of human mutation rate per generation in order to infer split times between humans and ape populations, independent of reference to the fossil record. The results came out at 7 to 13 million years for the divergence of the chimpanzee lineage and 8 to 19 million years for the split of the gorilla lineage. For this video, we're going to focus on the gorilla lineage. Now, 8 to 19 million years is indeed quite a broad estimate, but given what we've discussed regarding Pierolopithecus and Hispanopithecus, along with the divergence of orangutans occurring around 14 million years ago, this would narrow down the estimate to roughly 9 to 12 million years for the divergence of the gorilla lineage. If we also consider the possible frequent occurrence of hominid bipedalism in Europe at the time, that could imply that the common ancestor of humans, chimpanzees and gorillas may have been a biped and not a knuckle walker as was assumed for a long time. 
This debate will be the topic of the next video and we'll look at the details that may constitute bipedalism in these early hominids. Until then, this has been All Things Past and Paranormal, have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you next time.